I, I'm not trying to be colorist, but I'm a need for us dark queens to enjoy the moment because I believe Beyonce was singing it to me. I don't know about you, but personally, I was in the recording studio and Beyonce was singing that song for me. Same skin that was broken be the same skin taking over. What do you mean? What do you mean, Beyonce? What do you mean, Queen B? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've not subscribed to us yet, please hit the red button, be a part of the family. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you are new, welcome. This is us, Candid with Coco. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's good to have you here. If you've really enjoyed this video once you've watched it, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. But before we get started, I think it's only right that we define what we're going to be talking about. Colorism is defined as prejudice or discrimination against individuals with a dark skin tone, typically among people of the same ethnic or racial group. As you can tell, I am melanated filled. <laughs> I'm melanated, I'm melanin filled, I am I'm chocolate and I love it. I love it. But I can't say I loved it from the very beginning. Right from the time I was in primary school, in grade one, um, all the way till I think it could have been second year of university. I hated my skin. I hated my skin tone. I never hated being black, but I hated the color scheme of my blackness. And it was a journey that I had to go through in order to love myself as I do today. So yeah, in grade one, I remember one day I got asked by somebody, I don't recall who, but it was, after we were doing um, class photos and I just got asked, why are you so dark? Like you're darker than most people. And I'd never noticed this until that very moment. That's when I think it sparked in me that, whoa, there's actually a problem with my skin. Many people in my grade wouldn't, I wouldn't say they were like light skin, but they were lighter than me. And I think there were a few of us that were dark. When I got to grade seven, I used to think that I was just ugly. Like from grade one through to grade seven, I believed I was straight up ugly. All the girls that people liked, people looked at, people idolized, were light in the media music videos i used to see light-skinned girls most celebrities like your bow wows chris browns they dated light-skinned girls um i never really saw any representation of women or girls who looked like me so i defined my beauty from what i was seeing and what my experience was with regards to the boys in school who they typically liked and because I got asked, why is your skin darker? From then on, it ringed in my head that something was wrong with me and something was terribly wrong with my skin tone. When I was in grade seven, I recalled an experience where I started to use um, a product called Lemon Light. It's actually like sold in shops. It's like a pond. And it's typically used to get rid of blemishes like from pimples and stuff. So when I started using it, my motivation was merely because I saw an advert which showed women like um, in a different spectrum, like it was like a woman getting lighter with time. Um, but their message was to convey that your blemishes will disappear. I saw from dark to light. Therefore, I said, aha, here's my jackpot. Here's my chance to look fair, to look beautiful, to look light. When I got to high school, I now moved away from just your, I could say your blemish removal creams and I now moved into the league of bleaching. So I used to use applicators, mainly I started with my face and you know, yeah, as you get going, you're thinking, ah, my face is lighter, my neck is lighter, obviously now my body has to match because you don't want to look like a banana, you don't want to look like Coca-Cola and Fanta. 
so I decided to get into knowing what types of creams you use for your body for your face and this solely stemmed from the fact that I hated my skin I had family members telling me like yo this is wild like you don't need to do this but in my head I'm like you're not the one who's looked at like ugly like you're not the one who when you walk in a room nobody's looking at you and thinking you're not pretty you're not the one who will walk in a room with a light skin person and they don't look at you <laughs> but i i noticed when i would stop using these applicators i'd feel so ugly like yo i'm getting dark maybe i should go back to it i think because of all that i was seeing and what my experience was even in high school when guys would talk about the most beautiful girls or the girls who actually started dating guys um, were mainly light-skinned girls the ones that guys would go oh my goodness like she's the one like yo if you bag that girl you won that was what was defined as beautiful when a guy would tell me I was beautiful I never believed it ever I never ever 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 like you know when people go oh stop tell me more I was never that girl I'd be like Till this day, I think I'm still weird about getting compliments. When I started to have bad skin, I think that's when I just was like, nah. <laughs> when my acne started popping up more than usual, I, I let go of all types of things. And I think that was when I was broken down and rebuilding my confidence and my identity in myself. Who child? It was a lot <laughs> it was a lot from the moment rihanna released fenty beauty foundations for all shades in the black community all of a sudden um maybelline jumped on l'oreal jumped on kylie cosmetics jumped on you know and that is something that we never had years ago and i can tell why a lot of my queens from back in the day those who uh, in my age group why we felt so broken down about our skin and why we never felt we were ever beautiful enough it was because we we're never shown people that look like us today we have Zozi the Miss SA slash Miss Universe who is showing us that honey you are valid you can look like this and still be celebrated we see so many beautiful dark queens taking over different spheres of of life we've got annie drea we've got one guy we've got zx online we've got so many dark-skinned beautiful women and that was not there in the back in the day and it's something that i'm so grateful for because i feel a bit more confident in bringing up my children in such a time when I look at my younger sister, she's so sure in herself. My sister has the most beautiful skin. If I just need to pause and talk about that. Like, my sister's skin is... Her name. We should not be pitted against each other. Already as black people, we're so divided when it comes to xenophobia and tribalism and all that. That we also have colorism. Like, guys, let's get it together. Let's get it together as a race, please. We're looking really whack to the other races, please. Let's get it together. But this is something that um, I pray that we continue to work on. I don't think we're where we need to be. I think representation is happening. I think that inclusivity is happening. But I think that we still have a long way to go. I hope that this video has been relatable, has been insightful. And I pray that it will touch anyone who is... Not feeling good about themselves i want you to just be encouraged and i want to affirm to you that your skin is beautiful you don't need to change it you are wonderfully and fearfully made and god makes no mistakes thank you once again for coming back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber if you're new welcome i hope you've hit that red button and you are part of us be sure to click the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a video and don't forget to share this with family and friends. Leave a comment in the comment section down below as well. Let me know what it is you've related to, if there's anything that resonates with you. As always, be awesome. Bye guys.